Hi and welcome to this Harmony Wizard video. In today's video, I'd like to show you a brand new feature in Harmony Wizard 1.1. If you're still using an older version, make sure to update Harmony Wizard. You can do this via the help button here in the Harmony Wizard toolbar, which takes you directly to the online manual. This manual has detailed help pages for every feature. And when you visit the update page, it will check your current version of Harmony Wizard and let you know if an update is available. From there, you can easily download and install the latest version. Once you're running Harmony Wizard 1.1, you'll notice two new commands in the transform menu under the Edit Chord Notes group. Enrich Chords and Reduce Chords. What does Enrich mean? Let's say you have a few very simple chords in your instrument part here in the editor. You might want to enhance them with additional chord tones to make the chords more complex, more sophisticated, or even jazzier, depending on which intervals you add. Let's just listen to these chords as they currently are. For best results, make sure you have a scale selected in the inspector. Now let's apply Enrich Chords. This command has two modes, automatic and manual. In the automatic mode, Harmony Wizard will automatically select a suitable tension or interval for each chord. This is great if you are unsure which intervals will work best or if you just want a quick enhancement. Let's try it and click OK. As you can see, Harmony Wizard has added one new note to each chord. You can probably hear how the chords now sound fuller and richer with the added tensions. And what I think is pretty cool about this feature is that if you want even more complexity, you can run the Enrich Chords command again to add another note to each chord. you can use the command multiple times and it will keep enriching the chords at least as long as they are recognizable by Harmony Wizard and can be harmonically enhanced. Now let's undo those changes and explore the manual mode. This mode allows you to select specific intervals to add. For example, you could add a seventh or a ninth. There are several intervals to choose from. One important thing to note if the selected interval is already present in the chord, Harmony Wizard won't add it again, so you don't need to worry about duplicate notes. The second new command is Reduce Chords. And as you might guess, this simplifies or reduces your existing chords. For example, in automatic mode, Harmony Wizard will remove the most advanced or highest interval it finds in each chord. Let's try it on the chords that we just enriched. And it will remove the ninth that we just added earlier. This is just a quick and easy way to simplify complex chords. A common use case is when you are doubling your chords with, let's say, strings or pads, but you want the doubled parts to be more basic. Then you can just copy-paste the chords to another track, run Reduce Chords, and voila, your chords are simplified on the second track. For pads and strings, I also recommend using Drop2 voicings because they always work really nicely with strings or pads or similar sounds. You can do this via the transform menu, then change chord voicing 
and here select the drop to voicing macro. So combining these tools can save you a lot of time. Of course, you can also reduce chords multiple times. For example, you can simplify them all the way down to a two note chord. So about as basic as they can get. And just like in rich chords, reduce chords also has a manual mode where you can specify which intervals to remove. I hope you enjoy these two commands. Make sure to update Harmony Wizard to version 1.1 if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments what you think about these features and how you use them in your projects. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.